I bite from over here? In our last vlog, we had the best noodles in Bangkok. We rode the water taxi and then we explored Khao San Road for a bit. We're now leaving Khao San Road to take you on a food tour of Chinatown. Let's get started. So we made it to our pier to go back to Chinatown. And he, I didn't film it, I should have, but he crossed the road like a champion. Oh, yeah. Didn't even hold his hand up, just went for it. Do a bit of a lean. <laughs> well, lean. I just followed him, I said, I'm with him. Didn't really film from getting off the boat to here. We were but. running. So to give a quick intro on this food tour, I did some Googling and Chinatown food tours are around like 40 US dollars, 50 US dollars. So doing a DIY we're tour, we just thought, let's just look at some YouTube videos, see what food to eat, and then find it on Google and go eat it. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. Yeah, we have a little list of things that we've seen that we want to try. So we're pretty excited and I'm ready for some air. Yeah. <laughs> we basically ran from the boat and I'm sweating. But we made it to Chinatown, so let's explore. Absolutely, let's do it. On today's food tour, our first dish will be a steamed noodle dish recommended by Mikey Chen of Strictly Dumpling. We then head to try one of the famous dishes in Chinatown, which is a pork soup with rolled rice noodles. Then we'll be on the hunt to try some durian fruit. These stalls were found everywhere around Chinatown. Another popular street food in Bangkok are Thai pancakes. So we'll be on the lookout for some of those as well. And then we'll finally end the night with some Michelin star rated fried dough with a pandan coconut dipping sauce. We did have a few more places to go on our list but some of these places were closed and we got pretty full. Cool. So let's get started. We made it to our first place. Ah, I'll take over from here. So to get started, we'll go ahead and try it without any chili or vinegar on there. So we'll see how spicy it is. There's pieces of pork, squid. Get some noodles. Drop my noodles. <laughs> So, so good. We'll add some heat. It's not too much, but delicious nonetheless. It's a nice brown sauce, so it's sort of rich. So it needs to be cut with some uh, acid and give it some heat. Right. Eating on the way. with a little bit of pork and all right, I'm gonna bite that. Nice 
new one. Which? It needs a little something. Come from them. First stop, a success. Thank you, Mikey Chen of Strictly Dumping. Thank you. So we don't need to spend forty dollars. We spent uh, fifty baht on this, so about a dollar fifty on this dish. Delicious. And it is called Kai Rong Gi Kui. I think. I don't know. But we'll send you, or at least we'll get a quick shot of the front of it. All right. So our next stop in our food tour is Kui Chap Wan. But I think we're gonna go get the signature Chinatown noodle soup, which is like a rolled rice noodle. Um, so let's go find it. So we got us a seat. This is the place. Yeah. What we get, Jenny? One small uh, Chinese noodle pork soup. No egg. The line has gotten long. We were over there. And now it's all the way down there. We lucked out. Good timing. Very good timing. Try some of the noodles with this the raw. Ooh, peppery. Mm. And a nice firm noodle. We aren't sure what it is. Are you going for it? spicier than we thought from being a black pepper spice. You can see the sweat on us. I feel it in my throat. It's lingering in my throat. Yeah. But honestly, I think I'm getting used to it because I still enjoyed it. I'm sweating a lot. It's hot and it's hot soon. But but look at that line. Everybody loves it. We got it for 50 baht. This is what it looks like outside. Gotta try it when you're in Chinatown in Bangkok. I'm pretty sure we tried different parts of the pig that I've never touched before in my life and I liked it. So. Great success with our second stop. I think this was another Mikey Chen of Strictly Dumpling. So it's another success successful stop on our Chinatown food tour. Who knows what we get next? I don't know. Okay, so stop number two or three? Three. We got some pomegranate juice. Cool our taste buds off. Cool. Can I try? Oh my gosh, that feels good. That was a lovely decision. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so pomegranate usually tastes really sour, I feel. But this is really sweet and smooth and mellow. Kinda reminds me of those old Kool-Aid 
Red bottles he had as a kid at the twist off top. But after eating that, I highly recommend coming next door to get some palm right. grape juice. That is so good. <laughs> this might be my favorite, just kidding, but it's so good. <laughs> Alright. Alright, first time trying durian. The time has come. It smells stinky. The stinky fruit of Thailand. You want to go first bite? Yeah. Crazy texture, really soft. It tastes really sweet when you first bite it, and then you get the stinky flavor. <laughs> so it's not awful. I kind of like it, but I wouldn't eat this whole thing ever in my life. Now it's Chinese turn. Alright, I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Should I bite from over here? so strange it's got like a little bit of a tough skin on the top and then it kind of breaks and peels away and there's this mushy center I'm not getting a whole lot of stinky taste though which I'm very grateful for so we tried it it's not awful no. but it's not great either no but hey oh we did oh. it stinky taste all right there it okay. is The middle stuff kind of has the consistency of shredded coconut. It's that same texture. Pretty good. I think this was pineapple, maybe. Mm. You get tanginess of this, and then the sweet, creamy mousse and the crunch of the wafer. Really nice, this one. I have to try the other one to compare. <laughs> All right, so Logan just figured it out. Outside tastes like a pork chicken cookie. That is the familiar taste. A thin little pork chicken cookie. Just trying the sweet one now. So 
for our last stop on the tour, we're gonna get some fried dough and a pandan dipping sauce. So, heading on a sweet note, we got quite full pretty fast, but it's been a lot of fun. Oh, it's been great. I really like this area. Definitely feel like I'm far from home. So we got our last thing of the food tour. It's these donuts, Patango, I think it was called. Some type of donuts, another Mikey Chen recommendation from Strictly Dumpling. They had a Michelin star. Two places they went tonight, did. So basically it's just a donut with some Pandan coconut dipping sauce. So we're gonna try them out somewhere. So this is the Pandan coconut dipping sauce. And I'll grab a donut. Really light, really airy. It's a thick sauce. Kind of like an icing. And these are super hot right out of the fryer, so I gotta do this fast. Mm. Super good. Reminds me kind of a funnel cake, but funnel cake but a bit more light more airy yeah really nice this is a really good dipping sauce as well the pandan what's pandan a flavor they use here a lot it's similar to like a vanilla kind of and that rounds out our food tour tonight so this area was pretty cool I don't feel like it was as touristy I mean sort of but definitely feels a little bit more authentic than the what was it? Kalsan Road. Kalsan Road was definitely a tourist trap. This, you feel like you're in it a little bit more in the actual city of Bangkok. So that's been cool. We've eaten so well. It was still so cheap, much more in our price range. And tried so many things. So many things. So if you are in Bangkok, definitely put together your own little food tour of the night market. It's great. We've really enjoyed it. Yeah, and you don't have to pay $46 for it, do you? So it's worth it. Definitely not have to pay $46. We didn't even pay a fraction. So, rest of the night we'll just be taking the MRT back to our place and we're hoping to get up early in the morning to go check out some temples and palaces. Great day. Great day.